Oh, look at the puppy. Look at the puppy. Ain't it a cute puppy? Who is an ugly dog? Who is an ugly dog? You is an ugly dog? Yes, you are. Here's an ugly dog. Who is my ugly dog? And that, everyone, is Winnie. My big ugly dog. One sec while I figure out how to get this camera set up. There we go! It's a balancing act. Oh joy, oh bliss. Today, I'm going to be re reviewing my copy of Earthbound. There's a story behind this game. Let me explain. I first got my Super Nintendo, I started researching games on what to get for it, because as a kid, I owned a Sega Genesis. At the time, Sega had more games that I liked, which was platformers, brawlers, and fighting games. The Super Nintendo was full of RPGs. I didn't like RPGs as a kid. I love them now. So, I got a Super Nintendo at a bazaar for, quite literally, the change in my pocket, plus five games, which I can't remember off the top of my head. There was Super Mario World, of course. Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, Contra 3, Final Fantasy 6, or 3 as it is, as it is in America, and Legend of the Mystical Ninja. As I started researching what games to pick up, Earthbound kept popping up. It kept popping up because it's a very sought after game, it's a rare game, and it's bloody expensive to buy. I did a Kijiji look on it, and there was one person selling his copy of Earthbound for $200. I am not going to pay $200 for Earthbound. So, anyways, I started picking up more and more games for my Super Nintendo, and there's a Pickering Flea Market near where I live. And there's a couple of booths there that sell old-school retro video games, anywhere from the Atari to the PlayStation 2. And I went there one day, and I was looking through one booth, and I've noticed they have mostly crappy sports games, you know, like NHL 94, John Madden, NBA Jam, things like that. I don't play sports, I don't watch sports, I have no interest in sports. I mean, look at me. Do I look like the kind of guy who has an interest in sports? Be honest, and say no. But I was browsing through the games one day, and... This popped out at me. Right there. Earthbound. And I'm thinking to myself, do these guys have a copy of Earthbound for sale? At a flea market? So I asked the guy, hey buddy, how much do you want for Earthbound? And the guy kind of scratches his head and goes, Earthbound, huh? Never heard of that game before. We don't get it in here a lot. Tell you what, buy three other games, I'll sell it to you for five bucks. And instantly I went, SCORE! I mean, five dollars for Earthbound, come on, even if I don't like the game, I can go on Kijiji and sell it for like a hundred and fifty bucks, make a huge profit. So I bought three other games, I bought Mortal Kombat 3, Lion King, and UN Squadron. And with that came my copy of Earthbound for a grand total of five fucking dollars. Talk about a nerd score right there. So I brought it home and instantly it was the first game I put in my Super Nintendo. Started playing it and the charm and the story just sucked me right in. Earthbound is by no means a graphical game. There are much better looking graphics on the Super Nintendo. Donkey Kong Country immediately pops into mind. What Earthbound lacks in graphics, it makes up for in charm. It is a cute, charming, beloved little game. You play as a guy named Ness. And one day, while Ness is sleeping, a huge meteor comes and lands in his neighborhood. 
Ness, of course, immediately wants to investigate. But the cops are blocking away, so he goes back home, goes to bed, and his buddy knocks on the door. Knock, 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 knock. Come on, let's go check out this meteor. So they go out, and the cops... You know, they've gone home, probably to Dunkin' Donuts, or here in Canada, to Tim Hortons. And they're not... They haven't secured the area quite as well. So you go up to this meteor, and you meet a little alien. Little alien looks like a wee little fly. And the wee little fly tells you, you have to go out and collect eight soundstones. You have to collect eight soundstones and defend the planet from Gius, or Gygus, or Giagus, or whatever the hell his name is. I have no idea how to pronounce his name, nor do I remember how it's spelled. I think it's G-Y-I-G-A-S, or G-I-Y-G-A-S. I just call him Gigas. Anyways, you gotta defend the planet from Gigas. So, you, this little... I don't know how old, he, how old he is. I want to say 8 to 10. 10 year old boy goes out on an adventure to save the world from Gigas. Along the way, you meet interesting people, you fight interesting enemies. So let me tell you, the, the enemies in Earthbound are messed up. They're not your stereotypical RPG enemies. It's enemies like Cranky Old Lady, Dirty Retro Hippie, Grumpy Butler, things like that. And here you go out and you, of course, defend the enemies, go to interesting locations, collect the soundstones, fight the bosses. The bosses are a pain in the butt, by the way. This is... Yeah, I wouldn't say it's a hard game, but it's definitely not easy like Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. This is a challenging game. So you go out and you finally defeat Gigas, and the world is saved, and you bring all of your little friends back to their home, and you meet up with your mother, and your mother congratulates you on defending the world from Gigas, and la di da di da di da di da I love this game. I highly recommend you go out and play it. Here's the catch. Play it on an emulator. This game is worth $60. Not $140, not $100, definitely not $200. I'm going to do a look on eBay now just to figure out how much this game is going for. Excuse me for one sec. eBay. I've never actually used eBay, but my sister uses it a lot. Earthbound. Yeah. Okay, that can't be right. There's a buy new option for Earthbound for $1,799.99. That's got to be a load of bullshit. There's Box Super Nintendo plus 50 games, including Earthbound, for $545. Not what I'm looking for. Ah, here it is. Earthbound, Near Mint, Super Nintendo, SNES tested, just played the ending, no probs. $199.95. And it's already got five bids. Earthbound is a charming game. I would highly recommend it. But unless you really, 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 really love this game, like a lot of people seem to do, or if you're kind of like me and you like collecting video games, don't go out and shell out the $200. Find an emulator, and preferably a good emulator, because every emulator I use crashes on me, Find an emulator, and play it through that. That's pretty much all I have to say about Earthbound. Stay tuned for my next review. I have no idea what I'll be reviewing next. 
likely Dragon Quest VI Realms of Revelations. I think I've done two or three videos where I've mentioned that game. I might review Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy VIII is the first RPG that I've ever played to completion. It's the first RPG I've ever fell in love, fallen in love with. Or I might review a 3DS game. Resident Evil Revelations. I like Resident Evil Revelations. I've heard a lot of people don't. I don't understand why. To me, it harkens back to the old school days of Resident Evil 1, 2, 3. And it's nothing like Resident Evil 4, which was a fine game by itself, but it didn't feel like a Resident Evil game. And Resident Evil 5... And eh, that game was just dull. Stay tuned for my next review.